Slayer, whenever I turn around, it's just mucking up. Yeah, two Slayers in the mix then. Okay. Isn't that overkill? No, I think it's just... It's interesting as well. Oh, sorry, I'm just... Sorry, because I've gone straight from last episode into this one. So just realising the focus of last episode was obviously Buffy, her future, where she's going to go, what can a Slayer do? Does she have to do that? Kendra, a vampire Slayer, arguably the Slayer in another part of the world. She's a bounty hunter. And maybe she broke out of that cycle. Maybe she left her duty aside to do what she wanted. And maybe she's going to be the, ex the example of that. And actually, perhaps that's going to be the example that shows Buffy, no, I need to keep doing this. I don't, I don't know where that's going to come from, but I just, I see an opportunity for there to be, you know, Kendra to be this example, or, or even forget that of, you know, Kendra being an example of that Buffy looks at and goes like, that's not very good of you. Maybe it's more gentle than that. Maybe they're going to find common ground, have a conversation and get to a place where they talk to each other. And Buffy arrives on her own at, okay, no, this is important. But, I, you know, whatever happens with that, I think it's very curious as to why Kendra's doing this. Maybe she's been forced to do it. Do you know what I mean? I, we don't know. We don't know. So interesting what we left off on and coming into this episode with. The sun will be coming in a few hours. Oh, and of course she'd fight him. In front of us, the old toy. Oh no, the card's an angel. So probably angel, right? They need angel? Go on, let's talk. Introduce yourself, Buffy. Even if you kill me, another slave will be sent to take me place. Could you right, so you've been tricked. I'm the damn slayer. There is but one, and I am she. Interesting, that's true. Yeah, they've obviously both been told you are the only one that can do it. But I guess I've assumed, I've always assumed that there are different slayers in different parts of the world. But if you're consigned to that, if you're given that title, then you have to do it. And you're the only one that can do it, right? And there's a limited amount of them. But maybe I'm letting the last episode that I saw colour my opinion. Because obviously in the last episode, we got, you know, more than one. One. But I suppose that does call into question because that was such a big deal that maybe I've misinterpreted this whole time. And actually Buffy is supposed to be the only one. Maybe Kendra's been tricked into thinking she is. We'll see, we'll see. Until we can go to my watcher and figure this out. No kicko, no Fido. She is very kicky, that's true. She, she, you know, she ticks the boxes. Smooth transition. Oh wait, Buffy, what is stopping you, mate, from dressing like this? Do you know what I mean? Like sassy pants. I'm not talking about anything else. I'm just talking about the pants, okay? Like, come on, do you know, like jazz it up a little bit. You were sent here by my watcher. Ooh, Giles 2.0. To do what exactly? Yeah, go on. I'm here to kill vampires. Right. What were you told? Ah, it'd be interesting if her watcher tricked her. I don't feel like that's the case. I'm just saying it'd be interesting, all right? Okay, uh, maybe Kendra's gonna tell Buffy. Let's slip that he's here. <laughs> Gotta hurry though. Do you know what though? Do you know what I will say? The last two episodes, like this one and the last one, really making me look forward to the Angel series in a way that I haven't been before. You know, not that I'm saying that I was like really, you know, lamenting that I had to get there. Do you know what I mean? But I'm just, it just, you know, it's there. I've, I've been seeing more to his character that interests me more that I'm like, okay, no, you can get a series out of that. Like on its own, apart. <laughs> Baby, oh, I'm ready. Yeah, 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 lay it on me. And your watcher is, is, is Sam Zabuto, you say? Okay, we know each other. We've never met, but he's, he's, he's very well respected. Okay, this is the thing. We, I feel like we know that there's more than one watcher, because Giles has mentioned other people. Do you know what I mean? Which implies there's more slayers. Do you know what? Slay more slayers. So I'm out of breath, I am. I go really hard on that la last bit. <laughs> I will be honest, I go so hard. They call me Kendra. I have no last name, sir. You say stuck in the 80s? I behave. It's like Adele, do you know what I mean? Share. I was just singing voice. Obviously, some, some misunderstanding here. Right, go on, Giles. Back off, Pink Ranger. This is my friend. Hey, mate, if that was a cool... Yeah, it was, it was. It was absolutely a cool to the pants. Buffy, <clears throat> I love you. Back off. Friend. Ah. Uh... I don't understand. Yeah, she's a lone ranger. Fair enough. The Kendra, uh, there are a few people, uh, civilians, if you like, who, who know Buffy's identity. One of them, uh, and they also... Um, and you allow this, sir? Whoa, hey, judgy. But the Slayer must work in secret. The Buffy, however, it's, it's, um... Different. Mm, flexibility is required. Don't say required. <laughs> this is so interesting to pit one Slayer against another, almost. It seems somehow that uh, another Slayer has been sent to... Right, right, right. So the only odd thing about it is that she's been sent somewhere that there's already a Slayer, right? So it's not weird there's more than one Slayer. I'm assuming they're still obviously rare, but cool, cool, cool. That's why I assumed. The, the new Slayer is only called after the previous Slayer has died. Right. Oh, good Lord. You were dead, Buffy. Oh, shh. Right. You were physically dead. That's causing the activation of the, the next Slayer. 
Oh. So there really are two. What a loophole. So That's so cool. Completely unprecedented. I'm quite yeah. proud. Wait though, hang on though. But there's a watcher. How would the watcher not have contacted Giles and been like, hey, I'm so sorry to hear what happened. Do you know what I mean? Because Giles... So I, now I'm asking, I'm kind of asking the question of what are the watchers really? It feels like they're like a, an organization that just work behind, you know, in the shadow. They're just researchers that, do you know what I mean? Like an information base almost. And then perhaps a watcher is assigned to the Slayer. Because now I'm getting that obviously there's not supposed to be more than one Slayer at all. Which again, again. Like, I feel like I was an idiot for assuming that there was more around the world. I think I think that last episode that I saw just, it like, leaked into my psyche. Because I think, obviously, I, the whole point is that there's one. That's the whole point. I get it. So, sorry, yeah, I'm absolutely, I, I was being an idiot. But not a bad thing. I find this super interesting. And the loophole that she did die, and that triggered the new slate. Do you know what I mean? Super interesting. Also interesting to consider, like, where do we go from here? What does Kendra do? Is she going to have to stick around? Obviously not, right? It's Buffy's territory. She's still here. I do find it odd though that there was no communication between watchers. Uh, there's, just, there's something going on here that I feel like doesn't account for this. I cannot just leave. I was sent here for a reason. Sent? Like you were sent. This is the point. Again, raises questions of how... Because Buffy was in Sunnydale. Sunnydale... As Slayers just... Do they kind of appear... Because obviously the, the, the Hellmouth is here. Do they materialise in a girl of the right age where there are things about to happen? Do you know what I mean? Like, Kendra was sent from where? It's my question. Where where were you sent from, mate? I thought you were a vampire. A swing and a miss for the rookie. Oof. I had good reason to think you were. Working with Angel. Did I not see a kissing of him? There we go. Yeah, fair enough, yeah. Sometimes you do that. <laughs> but only with Angel. Okay, no, tell her. Look, you saw me with Angel. He's good. You mean Angelus? Okay, okay. Let's all simmer down. He is a monster. Was. No, he's, he's good now. Boom. Really? Buffy. He looked to me just like another animal when I... There it is. How are you going to get him out of there? Blanket, I guess. Does that work? I feel like this is going to be s someone else. Okay. Damn. Buddy. Oh, I'll be so mad at this guy. Oh, is he helping? No. Okay. I take it back. I okay. Never mind. Well, helping of a sort. Wait, wait, wait. We had a deal, right? Mate, I climb back up. Don't you trust me? Oh, yeah. Like a brother. <laughs> Talk and I'll have your guts for garters. Mm, sexy. Go on. What are you going to do with them anyway? Maybe dinner and a movie. Ooh, what are you going to put on? A notebook I'd recommend. Nine ninety nine. You said that already. Do you have anything in the Barry family? <laughs> are there more ladies in the house? What a weird question to ask. Maybe you should look into selling dictionaries. Or Is there a maggot? Yeah. Right. Warning signs, Cordelia, yeah? <laughs> Ask questions, Xander. Time to... Not in the air. Oh, that's worse than a wet willy, that, mate. No, thank you. Okay. Oh, hmm, yummy. Cover the crank under the door! Start stamping, buddy. Cover me. Ugh. Angel! Too late. Interesting that Spike got him first, you know. There's a lot of tension in this room. <laughs> <laughs> I swear my mother's grave. Should... Something fatal happened to a got the bit. I do things my way. No wonder you died. Whoa. Hey, behave yourself, mate. Those sassy pants are only going to get you so far. Has either of you girls considered modeling? Buddy, no. I have a friend with the camera. No, 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 no. Strictly high class nude work. Buddy, 16. You don't have to answer right away. <sighs> okay, he should die. I'm cool. I'm just saying I'm cool with it. Do you know what I mean? I'm putting it on the table. Right, yeah, so they needed Angel. That was the tarot card. And, you know, what I was saying last episode and getting these three together, we're getting it, we're getting it, I love it. Not quite how I thought, right? Had it presented to us as the audience last episode of, you know, Angel going to them with the upper hand aggressively. Not so much the case, is it? I tell you what, spiky boy, your jaw looks phenomenal there. You're sucking in a cheek or something, buddy. Jesus. Sire, sweet. Mmm. Alrighty, let's have a talk. And you will be fully restored. Why does she need restoring? What happened? My black goddess. What? Nothing happened. Hmm? What do you mean by that? Bring him to me. 
I feel like this arc ends with Drew dying, you know? I just got a sneaking suspicion. I do want to see her full powered though, as well. And I kind of want to see her in the Angel series, truthfully. I know that's like two seasons away. So I feel like that's wishful thinking, I really do. But I feel like she's so tied to him character wise. Do you know what? I'm of two minds. I feel like we're teeing up her dying because obviously, you know, I don't think Angel's gonna die. Well, I, I know he's not gonna die. And with him not dying comes with her perhaps not being cured, being restored to full power. Very curious as to why it takes this much for her to restore her strength, right? I feel like the show, I don't know, I'm gonna have faith in the show. I hope they explain it because there's there's questions that need to be answered if you ask me, but in a good way, right? The, the reason I'm asking all these questions is because it's a, they've set up and the foundation that I have before me leaves so much unsaid, leaves so much potential as well. And I think this stuff does engage you. I think if you start asking questions about a show, it's always good. I say always good. I recently rewatched Star Wars The Force Awakens. If you haven't watched that video, go watch it. It's a while. Get a drink, get some chocolate, get something. Do you know what I mean? I talk about in that film how that does the same thing. It makes you ask a lot of questions, but too much. It can go over the line, but that's only if they ask too many questions and don't answer enough of them, right? Which I think that film fell prey to. I mean, this, the, you know, Buffy the Vampire Slayer has answered questions, has teased stuff, but it's picked up those threads later down the line. And like I said last episode, the, the last episode seemed to pick up a lot and I feel like first part going into a second part here I don't know I mean you know we've got what we've got half an hour left decent little nick of time to be answering some of these questions I, I can't imagine it's going to answer all of them I also think that would be a mistake to answer all of them I think you know you've still got like a lot of season two left to go as well right we've got to go forward with something you can't be answering all of them but I think you've got to answer some of them so we'll see how that goes but uh yeah a lot of questions still with with all of these guys here and the dynamic and like I say I think if she dies do you know what? If she dies, it would be a bad thing. I'd be annoyed because I haven't seen a lot of her. She's been in this for how long? Not long at all. She's an intriguing character. I like her. The actor's good. We've only really seen her weak, injured, looking for a cure. I want her to have a run where she is powerful, where she is a character unto herself, right? And also, like I say, so this is the thing, I, I feel them teeing up her dying. I, I'm going to go out on a limb and say they're not going to do that, though. And I feel like it would be a weakness if they did do that. And actually, like I say, I think it would be great if it's a long way down the line. I know Spike survives. I don't know if she's going to survive till the Angel show. That could be interesting, though. But then, you know, we've got two seasons between now and then. Maybe we explore all we need to between now and then and, and she doesn't need to be in the angel show do you know what i mean unless we do maybe some flashbacks go back in time and see i don't know i don't know i'm speculating a lot so we'll let's just continue and see <laughs> and see where we get to you've been a very bad daddy excuse go on say that again hello <laughs> yeah sorry <laughs> harder <laughs> <clears throat> He liked it. Hey, I tell you what, there wasn't a lot of uh, resistance in his act. A little bit of resistance, but that's playful. Do you know what I mean? You need that. But you two should work together. Beautiful. Oh, that'll be a treat. Do you know what? I'd love if Kendra stayed around because obviously she's come into it in this two-parter. I think it would be a wasted opportunity for her to leave at the end of this. I feel like this dynamic's really interesting and I don't think... I, 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 at this point, I'd like to see her be retained for at least the next episode, next few episodes maybe. It just depends what they want to do with her, right? See, Drusilla's not only evil, she's... Go on. Also quite mad. And, right. And, and, and she's restored to her full health. Yeah. Uh, well, there's no, absolutely no telling what she might. Okay, so she's powerful. Spike has also called out the Order of Taraka to keep Buffy out of the way. The assassins? Mmm. So we've been tricked. Because we assumed she was one of them. There's three of them. We haven't seen one of them then. Interesting. Nice little switcheroo there from the show. I like that. Hey, I like to be fooled. I do. How do you know all this? From the studies. Okay. Obviously, you have a lot of free time. Giles, take that smile off your face. One book insists. No, Giles. Do you know what though? I enjoy, I do enjoy the Giles having a good time. I do, I absolutely do. However, I don't love the uh, the little competition we're having here because we're gonna belittle Buffy. Bless her, you know, this is the thing. You gotta play to your strengths and Buffy clearly, that's not a strength necessarily of hers, but that doesn't mean she's weak. That's the thing. And obviously you're gonna have Slayer. From Slayer to Slayer to Slayer to Slayer, they're all gonna be different. They're all gonna have different weaknesses, different strengths. But the thing is, and the thing that makes Buffy so powerful and so accomplished is that she has friends. She has her friend group. She has the Scoobies who bolster her weaknesses. You know, you got Willow there, book smart. I think ultimately that's probably gonna make Buffy, and I think Buffy is more experienced as well at this point than Kendra is. But hey, I'm not trying to like bash on Kendra either. I think Kendra coming in and being like, you know, I study and I do this and she she takes to that. She's obviously very good physically as well, good fighter. You know, it shouldn't be a competition. I want to see them find some common ground and actually communicate. And I think that's what we're, we're building up towards, right? It's natural that they'd have, there'd be a little bit of antagonism 
between them competition and you know the, the way that they met as well you know what Kendra did to Angel there's gonna be that there but I think what the show should be and I think probably is building towards should be building towards I think is a friendship and to yeah find some common ground and I think look again half an hour more or less to go I don't know if we're necessarily gonna find all of that in this episode perhaps if by the end of the episode we get to that point and they're like okay you're okay and then maybe we're going to the next few episodes and they have that relationship maybe maybe she sticks around for a little bit and then goes that would be cool handbook what handbook how come i don't have a handbook is there a t-shirt too <laughs> after meeting you buffy i realized that uh, oh you just didn't give it to her the handbook would be of no use in your case what what do you mean it would be of no use in my case you didn't give that's your that's on you giles it was difficult all those footnotes. <laughs> oh, oh, I like that though. Look, 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 this is the thing. I'm outside of this situation. I like Buffy, I like Giles, I like Willow. I like Kendra, Kendra's cool. She's got sassy pants, right? Okay, okay. But she's also a decent character in, in her own right. And it is nice to see her happy and getting on with Giles as well. I think the next step is obviously, you know, getting on with Buffy. Buffy's a student here. Mmm, and you're not a student. And I imagine she's a cheerleader as well. <laughs> okay, no judgment, mate. Giles wishes I was more of a book geek. Sorry, do you know what? I was looking at, I was, <laughs> I was looking at an extra the whole time <laughs> during the scene. I have no idea what they said. I was looking at this guy here. And you know what? He does okay. He's doing a lot. He's doing a lot of work. Watch him, watch him, watch him. Coming, coming through, coming through. Chewing Jazz gum, chewing gum. Multitasking. Look at this guy. Hello, how you doing? Jazz Hello. Watch. Yeah, there we go. Oh, he did well. He nailed that performance. I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm actually going to watch the scene now. I'm so sorry. Giles is enough of a bug geek for the both of you. Yeah, and you're fine. You're doing fine, dude. I'm six. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> no one could replace you. Exactly, and if you ask Giles, he'll say the same. He'll always be Giles' favorite. Mm -hmm. He can like too. He can like Kendra as well. I wonder if it would be so bad being replaced. Ah, welcoming it. This is the thing as well, though. In what and I don't blame Willow for this. She's a kid, right? But like, it doesn't have to be a thing of like you're the real Slayer and she's not. The reality is you're both Slayers and you can both be Slayers. It doesn't have to be a bad thing. Willow's doing the friendship. I'm not again. I'm not blaming Willow. Willow's doing the friendship thing and, and making Buffy feel good in a time that she doesn't feel good. Good. I approve. At the same time, no one has to be brought down. Empower yourselves, be friends, and learn from each other. You mean like letting Kendra take over? It does give her a good out. And actually, it would be really interesting if having that option, Buffy keeps it, keeps the mantle of the Slayer. And again, it's almost a, a second coming of what we got in Prophecy Girl last season of her taking on this mantle more fully. Because that would be another kind of commitment to it. But I could do other stuff, career day stuff. Do you want that? Yeah, I could even have a normal life. This is the interesting thing. She's never actually thought about that because she 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 never had that as an option, right? So it's gonna be interesting now that it is an option. Perhaps she's gonna realistically think about that and be like, do I actually want that though? Do I want a normal life? Because I mean, hey, fellow adults, right? It's not that great. It depends. It absolutely depends. But you know, it comes with its pitfalls. It comes with things that aren't so great. Adult life is what it is. And there are absolutely great things that come from it too. Absolutely, you know, I'm not trying to depress anybody here, right? But I'm not saying Buffy's gonna identify that, right? Because she's a kid and you can't really identify that until you're there, right? But I'm just saying, I think it's going to be interesting to see the effect it's going to have on her, that actually having that as an option, how that's going to inform what she wants. And I think it's important, actually. It's really, it's really nice that the writers have given her that choice and that option and the idea to realistically consider that as an option she didn't have to be given that but i think it's really poignant that she was given that choice that she's been given that choice and perhaps she's going to come down on actually i've thought about it what would i do nothing appeals to me slaying's all i know it's hard but maybe it's going to make her appreciate it more in the sense of like yeah it's tough but i'm good at it i find fulfillment in it maybe and i'd like to keep doing that work making sure people are safe i think there's some reward in that too so yeah it's a really nice device that they've used to allow her the freedom to choose i have a plan we wait buffy saves us <laughs> Solid. Yeah, what are you doing? Go to see if he's gone. That's brilliant. What if he isn't? Do you know what? I'm sorry to interrupt this. I really like these two as not not a couple in the sense of romantic, but a couple in when they're on screen together. I like the back and forth. There's a lot of character between them. And actually, I found myself hoping Xander talking about the odds are Buffy or Finals and Save us. Fair. Absolutely. Valid. I kind of want to see them both get out of it themselves. I think there's a lot of strength in the two of them, truthfully. As much as they are kind of almost joke characters in the way they're presented and their function in the show, I think, you know, below that layer there is something deeper to the both of them that i really want to see rise up here and will be a nice opportunity to do that right you think we should just slack here and hope that somebody else decides to be a hero Mm-hmm. exactly do it yourselves but i'm stuck with the numb brain to let mr mutant in the house in the first place he looked normal 
He did. What is he supposed to have an arrow with the word assassin over his head? <laughs> Fair. Of a free makeover and you licked his hand like a big dumb dog. Ooh. I bet you'd let a girl go off to her doom all by herself. He wouldn't. Not just any girl. You're special. You wouldn't, mate. Three more seconds with you and I'm gonna... I'm gonna what? Don't kiss. Please don't kiss. Moron. I hate you! I hate you! Why can I see them kissing? Oh. Oh, no. I saw it coming. So need to get out of here. Yeah, please. What the f***? I didn't need that. That's not what I meant when I said I liked them together. And I hate, I hate, I do hate that shows are that predictable to me when it comes to the romantic stuff. Because guaranteed, any show, any film, as soon as it's an inappropriate moment, the characters are going to kiss. It's just, that's just the rule. That's the rule. That's what people have decided that happens. It's weird. I, I, it's unusual to me. <laughs> Let's move on. <gasps> Fair response, yeah. Sprint, away, get away. Oh, you're done, mate, you're done. <laughs> Fair enough, no, you know Xander's not gonna let her go. Turn around, dude, it's on your back, yep. No, you still got them on. I would not live with one of them on me. Dude, nah. Tell you what, that was pretty easy. Hey. Sethy boy? Okay, but no, don't look. Has he dyed his hair? He's totally checking you out. What's going on? Oh, that's all. He has! Oz, what happened, dude? Then why is he on his way over here right now? Why not? Your hair is yeah. brown. Well, yeah, sometimes. So... Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Hey, that's all I needed. I just needed something. And that was that was enough. I wonder if it's because she's hanging around with Xander. Xander has darker hair. And he's gone like, she likes that. I don't know. I, I might be reaching, but... Not really a computer person. Or a work of any kind person. Fair enough, dude. I feel you. Well, I sort of test well. You know, which is cool. Same. Except that it leads to jobs. Yeah, that's always the issue. Whoa, buddy. Jeez, she has no chill. That is not how you respond to a volunteer. You had two guns? It's America, fair enough. Whoa. Oh, that little music beat beneath the, uh, kind of reminiscent of Saw. I should really get back to that series. I'm so sorry for anyone who watched those, who is watching this. I apologize. We'll get there. We'll get there. That little beat underneath. I really like that. Beautiful. I'll tell you what, I wouldn't put it past it to have another gun somewhere, mate. Check a sock. Check a sock. I was just about to say check a sock. You heard me saying it. Right, I didn't get there. I didn't quite get there in time. It was so quick. But I, was, I said check a check a check a you know what I was going to say, okay? I was going to say, check a sock. I was going to joke. That was my joke. That was the joke that I was teeing up, okay? And she actually did it. That's insane. I'm so good. Ah, oh, peace on that, mate. Okay, let's move on. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this lady. How many does she have? <laughs> Kick in, buddy. Hello. Whoa. Okay. Where did that come from? No. Hey, respect your body. He's shot. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm shot. You know. <laughs> Taking it well. Was that a demonstration? Yes. She was definitely one of the Taraka gang Giles. All right, that's the third one. Good. He, he, he's all right. We're going to bring Oz into the fold at some point, I feel like. Oh, hello. Who sponsored Career Day today? The British Soccer Fan Association? What? To be fair, no, no, no. I, fair play. Honestly, football hooligans, another breed. They're insane. Of the hello. Of course. Behave yourself, buddy. Hi, nice to meet you. A slayer. Huh. Is that your type? I knew this. I'm the only one. I'm the only one thing was just an attention getter. Whoa, buddy. Mm, just say hello, Xander. Yeah. You're a slayer, huh? I like that in a woman. Of course, you, yeah. Yeah, I saw it. I saw it coming. Uh, thank you. I mean, sir, um... Why are you bashful? I will... What's going on? Great. Okay. Good. Weird. Uh, uh, yeah. I'm showering. Yeah, I told you. Like that? You should get rid of that. You and bug people, Xander. What's up with that? Fair. And who was a bug? Thank you. Mr. Rock are definitely serious. Fortunately for me, so is Kendra. Good. Yeah. Finally, bridging that gap. The ritual requires it. The presence of her sire and it There it is. New moon. But that is tonight. Buffy knows. They need Drusilla's sire. Mm hmm You mean the vamp that made her? Yep. Buffy, what is it? Angelus. Angel. He's Drusilla's sire. Man, that guy got major neck in his day. Whoa. Thank you. Will this ritual kill him? Yes, I'm afraid it will. You got it, dude. You got it. But our priority is to stop Drusilla. Angel's our friend. One gets the other. Hey, Santa. Except I don't like him. 
No, come on. A. What I want to see before this series is over is Xander and Angel. Best buds, mate. Bet like this, like this, like this. Spike is going down. Mmm, yeah. You can attack me. You can send assassins after me. That's fine. Can't go after friends. But nobody messes with my boyfriend. Oh, just one. Fair enough. My mommy ate lemons. Rule. Beautiful, I love that. She loved the way they made her mouth. Do you know what? I feel like me and your mum would get on, you know. Mm, spicy. Her favourite was custard. Randy Perry's. Oh, no, okay. Well, I feel like we, mm, we could have a conversation about it, though. They used to make her face and fingers all oh. red. Sounds like an allergy, buddy. Until you came and ripped their throats out. Oh, she remembers, okay. Yeah, so this is interesting then. Some of what came before her turning, she remembers. That's such an interesting precedent because am I, am I misinterpreting that? Did what she just talked about happen when she turned and she didn't like that, as, like as a vampire? I wonder. That's so interesting because it calls into question whether they retain thought, memories, feelings from when they were human, when they get turned. Perhaps the feeling was so strong that it, she did retain it. And that was perhaps something that she couldn't quite reconcile in herself and is why she's termed mad, right? And perhaps so dangerous. I'm just gonna watch that again. I don't know if it was more overt than I'm thinking. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention. Maybe I was making too many mum jokes. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> hey, it happens. Yet she loved the way they made her mouth. <laughs> like you can't say that and expect me not to, not to make a mum joke. Do you know what I mean? They used to eat cake. They used to eat. Until you came. Yeah, and ripped their throats out. Yeah, beautiful performance by her. The way that is like clearly suppressed rage you know the way that she shakes as she says that yeah so it's an interesting precedent and also begs the question in my mind of when they were rocking about and angel was a fully fledged vampire what was the dynamic was she okay with him was his presence something that unhinged her more exacerbated perhaps her trauma her psychological pain when he left the trio right the gypsy curse i'm starting to wonder if that was something playing on her mind i can't remember I I, I, sorry, I, I am. I'm forgetting where the curse came from and what, what brought that on. But I'm starting to think that she engineered it as revenge. Because that would be a, like a, a horrific revenge to wreak on him. To give him his soul back and make him feel everything that he did to everybody, not just her. Hmm. That would be really interesting. It pulls into the forefront this trio of Spike, Angel, Drew. What the dynamic truly was. I feel like the Angel and Spike relationship was pretty tight. But the Drew thing interesting and i wonder actually whether spike was more uh more on drew's side maybe than angels perhaps considering what i've seen of spike and drew now and how close they are and how protective he is of her yeah lots of questions lots of potential for their relationship even from what we've not seen in the past that we haven't seen and actually begs the question of when we get to the angel show are we gonna have flashbacks i feel like it should at this point at least you know we're again early doors so maybe that'll change but i feel like there's a lot to be explored with these three and also sort of predatory in the way that obviously drew was brought into the fold very traumatized psychologically scarred how she was brought into the fold that brought on her pain that's so messed up and i wonder how much maybe of a balm spike was in that moment and like i say the effects that it had on drew and how she behaved yeah we'll see Mm. Have a talk, guys. Did anyone explain to you what secret identity means? I love that she's just maintained the sassy pants, dude. I'm an expert in all weapons. Body. This uh, trigger mechanism is different. Yeah, she is. She is still learning. She's not infallible. Show me how to work it. Yes. Come on. When this is over. I'm thinking pineapple pizza and teen video movie fest. Beautiful. I know what it means, dorkhead. Mm. I wonder if we're going to approach the romance thing now that we've kind of uh, stepped over that line or whether it's just going to be a blip. I don't think it's going to go left unsaid. Let's put it that way. The things we do and have, I was taught to distract from my calling. Maybe she's starting to actually, like I've been talking about the effect that she's going to have on Buffy, but perhaps the effect that Buffy's going to have on her is going to make her think, well, I could perhaps do it a bit differently in a way that's not going to make me happier as well, which I think is fair. Even family. Mm, really? You were split from your family? They sent me to my watch when I was very young. Wow, okay. I don't remember them actually. That's how seriously the calling is taken by my people. Mm. They believed that they were doing the right thing for me. Well. I guess it just sounds very lonely. Yeah. Emotions are weakness, Buffy. You shouldn't entertain them. Oof, hello. Kendra, my emotions give me power. Yes. But they're total assets. Yeah. 
for you. But I prefer to keep an even mind. Fair enough. What works for one might not work for the other. That's fair. Your technique, it's flawless. It's <laughs> better than mine. Nice, good. I know. All right, babe. I would have kicked your butt in the end. And you know why? Go on. No imagination. Ah. Uh... You think so? Oh, I know so. This talk is good. Power alone isn't enough. Yes. Go with the flow. I, I, seriously, don't get me wrong. You really do have- Put the knife down. Potential. Put the knife down. I could wipe the floor with you right now. Go on. That would be anger you're feeling. Ah, uh, uh, <laughs> How the anger gives you fire. Slayer needs that. Hello, a teaching moment. We like it. I am not permitted to speak with boys. Really? Yeah, they could learn a lot from each other. You think he might help us? I think we might make him. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. I said then. After church. Take me to church. That's all the words I know. I'm so sorry. That's what you saw likes best, as I recall. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, hello. We're getting personal. She knows what I mean. Go on. Will. Sorry, have you seen that video of the, I think it's the Australian guy and his wife just stood next to him and he just starts barking like a dog. It's like my favorite clip ever on the internet. I'm so like, you know, that's it's a big, it's a big accolade, but it is. You should let me talk to him, Drew. Sounds like your boy could use some pointers. Oh, hello. She likes to be teased. Well. Keep your whole shut. Which one? Sorry. The way she touched me just now, I can tell when she's not satisfied. What? Okay, we're going there. Oh, or maybe you- Threesome. Let's just, hey. That's enough. Oh, uh, it was it was that way, huh? Right, you almost got me. Mm. Throw himself to the lion sort of sap these days. Yeah, hey though, no, to be fair, damn, on Angel's part, really putting himself in the fire to try and avoid her getting better. Again, it begs the question from me, how dangerous is she at full strength? Because it seems to be making her a really big deal. See, if I kill you now, you go quick, and Drew hasn't got a chance. Really? So I think, okay, interesting. So I'm getting, again, that's another chip in the post of her dying this episode, actually, which would be a waste, I feel. It's time. Too bad, Angelus. Angelus. Looks like you go the hard way. Oh yeah, sounds like a threesome, I'm sorry. Along with the rest of this miserable town. <laughs> okay, that's bold, mate, that's ambitious. Just hit him, Buffy. She likes to hit. Good call back up. You know, go on. Maybe I did hear something about this ritual. Yeah. I'd have to take you there. No. Let's go. Okay. We must return to the Watcher. If we don't go now, Angel could die. There's two of you, you know. One of you go back and tell, and the other one go. He clothes your judgment. We can't stop this ritual alone. Which goes against what you've been taught, Kendra, because you're supposed to be going alone. That's what you've been seeing, is that Buffy does not. So it's interesting, isn't it? Buffy is already showing... I know that Kendra's coming from a perspective of, like, my Watcher, but at the same time, I don't know, I feel like she's getting used to the team dynamic, which is interesting. They're rubbing off on each other a little bit. He's a vampire. He should die. <sighs> Behave. Calm down. No, 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 no. This is the thing. Last episode, I do maintain, I do stand by that Angel is a hybrid. I don't think he's fully vampire anymore. Like truly, not, not, not the true definition of the word. As much as he is a vampire. Good riddance done. Good. You go back. She goes. Oh hi. I wanted to say your friend Willie don't come throwing a pinch. All right, Willie's got to die for real. Oh maggot, sir. No. Elagor, I name thee bringer of war. Dear, I named thee the worst name I've heard in a while. Grand obscenity. It is. Master of decay. Oh, hello. Restore your most impious, murderous. Right, she's very murdery, fair enough. I wonder whether actually he doesn't have to die. He just needs to give his blood at the right time. She survives. Because maybe the most interesting thing to come out of this is her regaining her power and being cured and Angel also surviving. That is like having your cake and eating it. But I feel like is is the best way to go forward, actually. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I feel like we're going that way. Maybe he's going to be weaker after this. That could be interesting. She bring her here now? I wanted her dead. Damn, Spike is scared of Buffy. Really scared. Do you know what I mean? She's here under threat of guard, his prisoner, and yet he's still like, why did you bring her here? Goes a lot of the way to talk her up as how dangerous, how powerful she has become. Let's not forget that because over the course of, you know, one and around a half season, she has increased in proficiency. Another five minutes though, and Angel will be dead, so. Mm. Okay, so I feel like Drew's gonna get out of it semi-powerful. Angel's gonna get out of it semi-weakened. I don't think either of them's gonna die, which is good. I think that's a great, outcome 
Oh, hello. Again, beautiful. Sassy pants supreme, mate. Who the hell is this? <laughs> yes. Two slayers. No waiting. Yeah. Punch in. Oh, damn, dude. Yes. What? Ezio. <laughs> Giles boy, yes man. <laughs> Nian, I don't know. I don't know which one it was. Oh, Spike ain't got the kicking down, man. Giles, buddy, did you just try and whack him with the crossbow? <laughs> Teamwork, hello. No. Right, I'm talking to you, you big. I leave him alone. <laughs> yeah, I leave him well alone. Yeah, fair enough, dude. I'll be gone. Absolutely. Hello? Yeah, teamwork. My little pretties. Amazing. Hey, what a fight scene, you know? A lot going on here. This lady with her knives, I swear to God, she needs to... She has a problem. <laughs> this is the thing. I think we have established Kendra's the worst fighter. She's a good fighter, but she's the worst... Yep. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, yes. I'd rather be fighting you anyway. Mutual. You shouldn't say that, mate. I think she knows you better. She knows your fighting style. You fought before. She didn't go for you, Spike. Oh. Yep, there it is. Willie, you're next. There's a way in which this isn't my fault. They tricked you. Hold it steady. Man, he reminds me of Ethan. That's me favorite shirt. That's me only shirt. You've got one. Oh. Mate, to be fair, it makes sense. She's worn the same outfit the entire time. I think that would be fair, everyone has actually. But like, um, I noticed on her because she's got the sassy pants. Do you know what I mean? Sorry, baby. Gotta go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Half and half. Good. I hope that was enough. Yeah, right. But he survives. Best outcome for me. <laughs> oh, okay. Are we capturing the two of them? That would be fun. He's good. Let's get him out. Yeah, good, Kendra. Nice. Good, she's on board. What a cool finale. Really nice action scene. Nice stakes. Good emotional stakes as well. Nice outcome. I think, like I said, the outcome that we got was the best that we could have got out of that, story-wise. I'm really happy with that. You can still play the guitar, okay? No, by the way, I love how it's slowly bringing Oz into the fold. Not quick. It's very drip fed, but I like it for that. I don't feel like I know Oz, but I do feel like I know Oz a little, like enough to know that I want him in the fold and they're not rushing it. It's nice. It's really nice. You have the sweetest smile I've ever seen. Oh, you charmer. Going forward now, we're getting uh, Willow and Oz, and we're getting Cordelia and Xander, and obviously we've got Angel and Buffy. I like that to play around with. I think they're setting a foundation for relationships going forward with, you know, Team Buffy that is interesting. I mean, you know, <laughs> as much as I'm talking, you know, when Cordelia and Xander kissed, it is what it is. I am who I am. That's just how I feel. At the same time, I wasn't lying when I said that I like them when they're together. I think there's a lot of character in their dynamic, and I want to see more more of that and actually my reaction to their kiss is what it <laughs> is what it is it's just my taste in media it's just you know it's, it doesn't really mean much Wh whatever stepping outside of it and looking at it character wise it's an interesting thing to be dealing with and we have seen that seeded before I'm thinking about, I think, was it the Frankenstein thing? That episode where Cordelia came up to him at the end and, he, and she was like, you know, if you want to talk, blah, blah, blah. You know, there was something there. And Xander was with Willow, so he dismissed her. But there was something, right? And so it's like that seed has been brought into, I keep saying these threads that are kind of let go and they're brought back into it. That was a very, you know, light, light thread. And they've they've brought it back into the fold, which is interesting to see. And it is interesting, like I said, on, on its own anyway. So the Xander Cordelia thing, I'm I'm looking forward to that. I think going forward with that, super interesting. I think Oz as a character, drip fed into the show, into the team, really nice. And I think a really positive relationship perhaps for, for Willow, at least at this point, you know, from what I've seen. So looking forward to that. And, you know, look, despite my feelings for Angel and Buffy, and, and I know how that comes across, and I've seen the comments of people, you know, talking about that, but <laughs> I do think what I think about it, but it doesn't affect how I watch the show. As much as some of you might hear that and be like, what? Considering what you said? And it's like, yeah, yeah. 
like you know you can you can talk about something and, and be honest about how you feel about something you know from the outside while also being on the inside and watching a show and enjoying it for what it is right like there, there are two aspects to that and I'm not limiting myself to just one that's silly and it's taking myself out of being able to enjoy what is there which has never been the case I've never kind of separated myself so far from it that I I, I don't enjoy what they're doing with it you know there's always aspects to Angel's character and like I said the relationship itself the idea of the Slayer and the vampire having a romantic relationship on paper brilliant what a brilliant idea do you know what I mean like there's absolutely parts of that that I really enjoy I'm obviously as a media commentator going to comment on the age thing when was it not last episode was it the one before maybe the one before where I talked about it a lot that was more just getting my feelings on the record about that aspect of it but it doesn't spoil my enjoyment of the show and of the relationship and of the interesting aspects to the relationship. So Buffy and Angel also interesting. And also with the Angel thing and the Drew and the, the Spike thing, the you know, the trifecta there, also very interesting. And I wonder how perhaps that could come in to influence Buffy and Angel's relationship. We'll see. Lots of potential is what I see from all of this. And it's really nice. And as much as we've got a two-parter that's really interesting on its own, not even mention Kendra, right? This two-parter has also been a really nice foundation to leap off from going forward. Hello, are we gonna get a... Uh... No. Go on. We need to talk. Mm -hmm. We don't have to run every time we see each other in the hall. Why shouldn't we run? What happened? There's a total explanation for it. Go ahead. You're a pervert? Whoa. Yeah. You kiss back. No, 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 no. You've probably been planning this for months. No. I hired a Latvian bug man to kill Buffy so I could kiss... <laughs> you don't inspire me to spring for a dinner over at Bucky's fondue hut. Oh, is that thing that's gonna happen? Don't try it again. Uh-huh. Riot! It happened. The memory of your lips on mine makes my blood run cold. If you sure? They're gonna do it again. I don't want anyone to know. They're gonna do it. They're getting closer. They're gonna do it again. Good. Good. Just go ahead. Good. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. <sighs> the, mu the music. We don't have to do the music, guys. It's fine. <laughs> Thank you for the shirt. It was. Oh, I like that you kept the pants, though. Hey, it looks better on me, but no worries. Good, be friends. That is not traveling undercover. Relax, you earned it. Yeah. You eat your peanuts, you watch the movie. Nice. Hey, where... Hey, thank you for helping me yeah. save Angel. Good. So quickly, I love that we're teeing up a relationship between the two of them. I saw that's where we were going and I, I'm glad we got there at the end of this episode because now, I mean, we, you know, we're not necessarily going to go into the next episode and have them, you know, fighting side by side, etc, etc. But we are opening the door for her to come in at some point later on, right, for guest appearances and etc. Which I love. I, I love that. Again, I love the foundation that this two-parter has set for a lot of things. You talk about saying like it's a job. It's not. Go on. It's who you are. Okay. Did you get that from your handbook? From you. Oh. I guess it's something I really can't fight. Part of you. I'm a freak. No, 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 no. Not the only freak. Not a freak at all. Guys, this is good hug. for the... Right, no. Two good. of them. Good, hate, hugs. I think they're both struggling with everything that we've seen that a young girl being a slayer struggles with. And I think having, the, having someone to share that with goes a lot of the way to making that a little bit easier. I like this. You just left them there? Guys, you had them on a silver platter. You could have staked them. That was silly. Don't worry, dear heart. Oh, she's back. Good. I'll see that you get strong again. Beautiful. Like me. Yeah, that's what I wanted to see. You want to see a Drusilla at full strength? What an image. Hello. Good. Hey, what I will say about this two-parter is, again, repeat myself, but beautiful foundation to leap off from. Everything that I kind of has said, I predicted, I've kind of hoped that would happen, has kind of happened. Everything, all across the board. You know, with uh, Xander, Cordelia, we're not letting that go. And we saw that with the scene that we just had with them. Drusilla got full strength. Angel obviously survived, which is what I expected, but Drusilla came out of that, you know, alive and powerful. So we do get to see her have a run where she is herself, which I think would have been a wasted opportunity if we had not seen that. Kendra brought into the mix. Again, my predictions for that, my hopes for that bearing fruit, you know, her and Buffy striking up a relationship and both of them benefiting from it. Both of them finding ease, more ease in their role for that as well. And what we saw last episode in the first half of this two-parter of Buffy struggling with, you know, the whole going forward and the career thing and all that stuff. Kendra bringing a little bit of peace to that, kind of being a little bit of a balm for the pain of that and, and, and dealing with that, right? You know, going forward, we've got all of the stuff we've established in the two-parter, first of all, all the, all the romantic stuff, Oz coming in, uh, Cordelia Zander. Also the interesting stuff 
and the questions that are raised by this in regard to Spike Drew and Angel. And also the interesting reversal that I've not talk, talked about actually of obviously Spike's been the powerful one, Drew's been the weak one. We flipped that now. We've got Drew being the powerful one. Spike is not doing so well. It's going to be interesting going forward with that dynamic instead of what we've had. And also the possibility of Kendra coming back into it. I love that we didn't get rid of her. She's a thing and she's going to come back. And I really, really like that. And so it's like they've kind of rung out of these two episodes the most potential they possibly could for interesting character developments while also developing characters in a really satisfying way really strong really strong two-parter so um yeah that's what i'll leave it on thank you so much for watching hey if you're new to my buffy reactions um please do subscribe down below i also cover the good plays i do better call saul as well got some links down below if you want to support me i've got patreon youtube memberships early access for all my videos down there if you're interested please do have a like thank you as always to those who do support me genuinely thank you thank you thank you thank you watch this video right here youtube has specifically recommended it for you mate so just hey hey be respectful give it a click do you know what i mean other than that thank you very much for watching see you soon